hello and welcome i am chintan and you are watching archivision in this video today we will be taking a look at how to model this shape inside of sketchup without using any plugins so let's take a look at that let's go okay so jump into sketchup and we need to make a rectangle by pressing the line tool the shortcut for that is l click like this and make a rectangle just above the origin now press a and make an arc in such a manner now delete extra geometry by pressing the shortcut e which is for the eraser now make a circle at the origin like this the shortcut for that is c now we need to follow along this shape along the circle so go to tools and follow along and delete the bottom and the top edges and delete the circle that we followed it along select it all and make this a component now go to view and show hidden geometry now without going into the edit mode we need to draw a line like this going diagonally along each face which would give us an edge which sits just above the surface of the base mesh that we have created like this so double click on this edge to select and right click to make this a component now we just need to rotate copies of this along the base mesh for that hit Q and along with it the control key and drag 12 copies now select it all and deselect the base mesh and drag a copy by hitting the M and the control key together and we need to flip it along the green axis so flip that along now we need to move it back to its original place just above the base mesh so click M and put it in its place now we have something that looks like this now delete the base mesh or the component that we first made and you would have something that looks like this now edit one component and change the axis the whole axis of the scene by right clicking and going to change axis now our add axis is along the component that we have just created now we need to make a circle along the red axis so that we can follow that along the edge and that would give us the tube like structures so double click to select the edge then go to tools and click on follow me and click on the circle so that would give us a shape that looks like this circles that follow along the edges that we just created now go to view and hidden geometry and undo the hidden geometry part and if we hide the axis and turn on the shadows you can see we have our final shape that we are looking for so i hope this video was very helpful to you and if you learned something new in this video please feel free to hit the like button and hit subscribe we also have a discord server that you can join and you can ask your doubts with other people on the channel the link for the discord is down below and i will see you in the next video till then keep creating and keep having fun